Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be kind of similar to something that I've done in the past. I've used Chinese makeup to do that cute Joyen expired look or makeups that you see on XHS. I can't say the full name because I don't want to butcher it, but it's a really popular Chinese app similar to TikTok where people share their ideas and a lot of beauty trends are like surrounded by that area. So without further ado, let's do a cool toned um, Doyen Inspire makeup look tutorial. <laughs> I'm just gonna tie my hair up in the back because it's very hot in my room. I just tied my hair up in a very bad way, but I just did my base, which is just concealer under my eyes, between my brows, and on my chin. And I did about two pumps of foundation. Um, you could do your desired amount, whatever works for you, but I really want to get into contour. So this is a very famous palette. This is by Judy Doll. I really love this brand. It's so inexpensive and it's so good. Like I've used this palette like quite a lot. And um, the color that we're mainly going to use to achieve this cool look is this gray color right here. This is the brush I'm going to use. It's not the correct brush, but it's what works for me and my face shape. So I'm tapping into this um, gray color right here and I'm going to work around the shadows around my face. So I have a shadow right here. So I'm just going to pack it on my cheekbone and it might look like really, you know, deepened, but we're going to blend that out later. And with a smaller brush right here, using that same gray tone, I'm gonna knock some off. I'm going to follow the nose bridge shadow that I have. So from my inner corner right here, down to my nose and i noticed that the girls on these apps really like define their nose contour so that's another thing i'm going to show you guys what to do i zoomed it in more i'm so sorry for like my pores oh my god um then i'm going to go in with this brown deep color right here knock some off and then just do like a line right here like a brown right here and then so right here because i really like the button nose effect and then i just do the same deep brown color and i just brush up so because you can already see like the button effect happening right now and to set everything i'm going to be using that really light color right here and just pressing it in so the makeup is set doesn't really move and just a line here and then we're gonna move on to the next part god this looks so funny but um i'm just gonna leave it like this and the next thing that we're going to do or focus on is picking out the blush color it might be too early to put on blush but we're only going to be putting on a small amount and then setting the under eye another good chinese brand that i really 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 recommend is whole live hold live that's how you say it look at how gorgeous this palette is now because of my skin color really this color is the only one that's gonna show up on my skin but i like to use um these two colors to brighten my under eye and the type of brush that i'm going to be using is a brush like this so i'm going to be going in with that blue um gradient color right here and packing that onto my brush knocking some off and then lightly setting it under my eye so it brightens but just do this very lightly same thing on the other side now um this cool tone effect is super good you want to use like a lavender color under your eyes or like like a blue gradient color because that's just really gonna make everything look more put together <laughs> i'm going to blend out that contour that we did on the cheek so it doesn't look too messy or scary looking and like I said, for blush, so I have these two palettes right here. This is a knockoff version from the Whole Live palette, but this is really good. I love this color so much. This is like screaming cool tone, and I will be using this one later. Maybe. Maybe. But as my first transition blush color, I'm going to be using this um, Cherry Sakura Sori um, Whole Live blush. It's a very light purple and i'm going to be putting that on the apples of my cheeks the brush for blush that i'm going to be using is by flower nose i really love the way how it's angled and excuse me i'm going to just place that on my cheeks 
look you could barely see anything like maybe you could see a little bit but we're just adding that to get everything together i'm going to blend out my nose because it's looking a little crazy right now so this is how my nose looks after it's blended out a little bit i just use like an eyeshadow brush to blend it out so i'm just you know moving the contour line that i did by this nose bridge up and then the one on my nose just fanning it out next for our cool tone makeup look is eyeshadow so look at how beautiful these palettes are so this is a knockoff version from clio i got from aliexpress super affordable and i believe it is worth your money pigment might not be as strong but if you pack it on it's you know worth your money and then this is from whole life once again I got all of my um, Chinese makeup products from Chic Decent, like Whole Life and Judy Doll. I will link everything in the description. And I'll also have a card to show you my unboxing video for that. And guys, just look at how gorgeous this palette is. I can't get enough. Like, this color is the color that we're going to be using for our cool tone makeup and some under our eye as well. Okay, I haven't added anything to my eye yet, but I'm going to show you guys how I do my eyeshadow look. I will have a picture of the palette on the side of the screen so you guys can follow the eyeshadow that I'm using. So with that color that I just showed you guys, I'm going to be packing that on the end of my eye, like so, and this is like a big eyeshadow blending brush, but I feel like this works best for me because I like to pack it at the end keep dipping more into the palette and then swiping it all over my lid now this eyeshadow has um very tiny fine glitters but it shouldn't you know mess up the look at all because of the muted color now with the knockoff cleo um palette that i have i'm going to be using like a light lavender shade and putting that in the middle of my eye and kind of brushing it up to have like a very light gradient effect from the muted color we just used from the whole life palette with this kind of eyeshadow brush i'm going to be going in with like a purple tone a very light purple and mix it in with a muted color and put that underneath my eye right here using a tinier brush i'm going to be going in with a very deep purple shade and just fanning out that color in the end so this is how the color should transition. And for highlight, I'm going to be using this tiny angled brush to get some of that color from the um, Knock Off Cleo palette and put it under my eye right here. Okay, so we just achieved our eye look. I do look like I kind of got punched in the face. So I'm going to find a brush that I use to apply um, blush on my cheeks. This is a Peri Para highlighter brush, but I use this to get small eyeshadows and put it on my face. So this is um, almost, this color is like a knockoff from the Kylie Winter Kiss. I really want that blush because I know um, One Young's makeup artist uses it for her um, look on stage. But I'm just going to apply it on my cheeks right here and just tap it in very lightly and then do the same thing on the other side fan it out and then tap it in and you can see that color right there and then i'm going to add some on the tip of my nose and then also some on my chin to sit under my eyes once more i'm going to be using this lee member um doraki contour palette and this is like their light contour palette so i'm going to be using that pink shade right here using that same brush i did to sit under my eyes before and then just tapping that in right under um, the blush that we just added so it kind of like transitioned from a light pink to like a baby pink to make my blush stand out a little bit more i'm going to be using this mac blush right here this is in dainty it's such a pretty pink and i really love it um this brush is kind of dirty so i'm just gonna wipe it off so it doesn't mess up my look but i'm going to be tapping that here on my brush get some of that product and just tapping just a little bit on my cheeks and so far i'm going to set my face with this mac fix plus coconut and and i'll be back also for eyes i'm going to be doing um inner highlight which is with like this jelly highlighter that i got from timu i'm going to show you guys how it looks so i just added some product right here and i'm going to be doing that 
um, highlight right here. Never mind, I just packed the same color that I just added right here and it looks super pretty and you can tell like the difference and then the same highlighter that i use in my inner corner i'm going to be doing a line on my nose right here and then on the tip of my nose as well just add some more because i feel like that barely showed up there you go and then on my cupid's bow as well I'm also going to be doing eyeliner off camera. Um, basically, for eyeliner, I'm going to show you how I do it on my hand really quickly. Well, this is gonna be hard. So let's say like, this is my eye right here. I'm going to be doing it down like so. That was such a bad representation, but you'll see how it looks on my eye. This is how the eyeliner looks. It's very tiny, but it is subtle and it's super cute. And also for cool tone makeup, I like to have like a inner corner inside as well so i pinch my nose right here and i just do a tiny oh that is not tiny girl oh well line like that and then i'll clean it up i feel like you could see the difference in my naked eye right here versus the one with the eyeliner i really like the way how this one looks and after we're done with eyeliner i'm going to be adding some beauty marks and usually in these makeup looks i see that they do under their eye which is their natural beauty mark but i find that really really pretty i'm going to be using the same eyeliner pen please be careful when you do this because it's gonna mess up your entire makeup look if you mess up and i add it to like the dark spots that you see on my face or like um places where i have like bumps on my skin so i'll do that really quickly so i just added some there and i'm going to add one more to my nose because i really like the way how that looks and i always add it right there and i'm going to be doing my eyelashes off camera i've explained how i done individual lashes so if you want to see like a tutorial for that i'll have a card right here in my recent makeup video i know i keep adding on more blush guys but this blush i totally forgot i was about to end the video like, okay guys thank you but i totally forgot to use this blush right here so I'm gonna knock that off and then just add some there. Now the final part of this look after doing eyelashes is going to be lips. And the lip color that I'm going to be using today is by Florette. So I have one by Capuvini. I don't really know how to pronounce that, but it's like basically, I'm not sure, but a lot of manufacturers on AliExpress do knockoffs of Florette and a lot of Chinese beauty. So this is a knockoff from Florette's, um, what, is, what collection is this? I totally forgot. There's Super Beauty Collection. It's like with the cat and has like the heart shape tint on it. I actually like the formula on the knockoff version better because it's more crayon-y and you can blend it out more. Um, so I'll show you how it looks on my hand. This is so embarrassing. Right here. See, it's like a shiny gloss, but it's more blendable. And then this is the Florette one. Show you guys how that one looks like. So you can tell the difference. So I'm gonna be using both. And those two are supposed to be the same shade, which is so funny. Cause um, the Cappy, let's call it Cappy. The Cappy is darker than the Florette one. But for lips, I'm going to go in with the Cappy um, color right here. And because of the heart shape, I think it's easier to apply it straight down from my lips like this. And then up like that. And before I blend it out or anything like that, I'm going to get the Florette color right here. And then do that on the side. And then blend it out on my finger. Look how pretty that color is. It's so gorgeous it's like a barbie pink and i love it so we are done with our cool tone makeup and i'm gonna let my hair down and take some pictures and i'll be right back okay guys so i just finished taking a lot of pictures i took so long trying to pick up the ones that i really liked but i'll have them right here on the side of the screen and thank you so much for watching this cool tone makeup inspired look and i'll see you guys in the next video